Wood is one of the neatest materials that we have at our disposal. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. But let's take a look at some of the ways that we all use wood. Some of them might surprise you. But let's take a peek. Did you know that every American uses about five to six pounds of wood every single day? I didn't know that. You know, that's like half of a two by four. Really? Yeah, and you know, we use the wood for many different things, many of which we don't even think about having wood in them. Scientists all the time are thinking of new ways to use wood to replace non-renewable materials like oil and and metals with renewable wood products. Wow, that sounds kind of sciencey. Yeah, that is pretty sciencey. So let's let's spend uh, some time talking about some things we all know about, like heat and electricity, and paper and paneling and veneer and and and, and saw logs and utility poles. Utility yeah. poles. That's a good one. Okay. So let's go take a look at some of those. But get it, let's get our coats on though. It's cold outside. Good idea. Okay. How many of you like to be in a warm classroom in the middle of the winter? Raise your hands. Well, I can't see you anyway, so put your hands down. You might be surprised to learn that some schools are actually heated with wood chips. And in doing that, they save enough money to pay the salary for a teacher or two. And that is really cool. Hey, here we are at North Central Schools in Powers, Michigan. And this is the middle and the heart of their second wood chip burning facility since about 1980. And these chips are what fuels the school. Semis bring in loads of these chips right into this storage area. And underneath is what they call an auger, which is like a big screw. Well, maybe we should go take a look and see how that works. What do you say? We'll go to the other side of the wall here. Ready? Whoa-ho! And here we are inside. Hey, we're just out there with all the chips. Yep, and you can see some of them coming out from underneath the wall. Looks like it's coming on these conveyor here. Yep, move it into the meter box, and here's that auger we were talking about. Oh, right there. That moves the chips out of the bin into the conveyor. Wow. And the chips come up the conveyor into this meter box up here. It's kind of a cool deal. And this little doohickey here is an electronic eye. It's got a sister on the other side. And when they can see each other, that means the chip level is down, and it'll kick on the furnace and the boiler to create more heat. This thing is huge, but it's actually three parts stacked on top of each other. Here's where the wood chips are actually burning, which is giving off gases that are burning here, which heats up the water that's sent through the rest of the school. And you know, a really cool part is that there's no smoke. Now this might look like pollution, but it's really just water vapor. The smoky parts, called particulates, were removed in the boiler room. Wood chips and other biomass can also be used to generate electricity. There are also many large forest industries that use their waste products that make both heat and power. After all, wood is just nature's way of storing solar energy. Pulp and paper mills make all kinds of different sorts of paper, some of which you might recognize as paper and some of them you might not think are paper. Well, like textbook paper and greeting cards and cardboard. Paper zillion, towels. Yeah, a zillion other things like that. Lots of different stuff. For example, like this yeah. here, Georgia. Now oh. that looks like a leather pad, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's made from paper right here in the UP. When some things look like paper, but really aren't. Like this dollar bill. There's no paper in it at all. It's made from cotton and from linen. Ooh, I'll keep this one. Wood comes to the mill two ways, as chips and as pulp wood logs. That truck is full of wood chips, so how do we get them out? A shovel? Not. Can you imagine picking up the whole truck and dumping out the wood chips? Well, this is exactly how it's done. And this takes a while, so let's speed it up a bit. chips are 
cooked into kind of like a pulp. Well, from there, the pulp is diluted, run on a giant paper machine, and spun into massive rolls of paper. The rolls are then cut, packaged, and shipped out in trucks. Another product is lumber. And we all know about lumber, right? Think of things like two by fours. You need better quality logs for this mill product. Now in a sawmill, the round logs are made into rectangular cants. These cants are then sawn into rough boards. The rough boards are then edged and cut to standard lengths. Here, the sawmill computers track each board through the entire process and each board is sent to a sling filled with boards of the same size. When a sling gets full, it's emptied and stacked onto a wooden pallet ready for shipping. The very best quality logs are made into veneer. Veneer is a very thin sheet of wood sliced from a log. It's sort of like peeling paper towels from a roll. It's used to make good looking wood surfaces that you often see on tables, desks, and other furniture. The logs are first rough peeled to make a perfect cylinder. Then a very sharp knife peels a long sheet of veneer from the log. These sheets are moved along a conveyor where they're dried and cut. On the light tables, workers sort and grade each piece of veneer. Then the veneer sheets are packaged for each customer. Ever think about the roll of wood when you flip a light switch? That electricity goes to your house through wires that travel over wooden poles for at least part of the way. Not just any old tree can be used for a utility pole. Companies are fussy about the trees they buy and pay more to get just the right kind. Here, the tree length poles have been peeled and are stacked by various sizes. Soon, they'll all be treated with wood preserving chemicals and then sold for utility poles. Now you might think that harvesting all this wood might cause a loss of forest, but actually the opposite is true. Harvesting wood products helps maintain woodlands as woodlands, gives them value. It also gives us a better opportunity to manage forests better than we could have otherwise. And not just for wood products, but for wildlife, recreation, water, and a bunch of other things. So, are we running out of wood? Heck no. Yeah, wood is good. And smart too. <laughs>